which is quite an advanced lighting technique. Um, if you don't like the word advanced, just just don't watch it. Just go to Three Clicks Phillips tutorials. You know, if you're a beginner, just, just go there. Uh, you might hate them, you might love them. I don't care. Just just watch them. They're good. Now uh, we're going to load up this uh, Toot Light Bounce map I've made. So here we just have a simple little map set up. Um, got some nice little white concrete texture around here. Uh, this is my setup for lighting. I'll teach you more about the uh, tone map in a bit, with the uh, HDR and stuff. Uh, oh, the skybox I'll be using is called Lake Box. You can find it on Game Banana. It's a good one. A uh, good one. All right. So here we just got this green object and this red object. Now they might not really reflect much in terms of light. Uh, actually, they will. Uh, but we can actually we can just enhance the amount of light they reflect and the color of light they reflect. Uh, if you ever want to do that. I mean, it was very uh, useful in Free City Plaza. So, um, I'm just going to compile this thing now. BRB. Back. And the buggers are finally compiled. Here we go. Bit bright. The okay, that's quite nice. You know, there's two colours, but it's not very vibrant, is it? There's no sort of nice, sort of colory flare going on. Uh, it's just sort of a bit, bit grey and bland. Uh, this is the kind of thing you fix with ref reflectivity. Okay, I've, I've actually modified it slightly, so it does look more bland than it actually is. Uh, but, but trust me on this. Yeah, this, this is pretty much what it looks like default. So, anyway, uh, I'm going to go quick and go back to the VMF. So, open tutorial light bounce. Okay, um, now... Actually, uh, I'm recording this for the second time, so if I make mistakes, just just, just blame stupid fraps. Alright. To modify the color's reflectivity parameter, we have to go to the actual material uh, which we've made. It has to be a custom material, um, or you can just copy one from the GCF. So let's go into light green tune to start off with. Now, um, when we started, I had this commented out, so uh, it wouldn't have happened, but here you can see the reflectivity parameter. <coughs> this is basically the word reflectivity, and then remember, it has to be in quotation marks, this part, uh, is a vector for red, green, and blue values. See, the, the red here is at 0.2, blue is at 0.2, the green is at 3. Uh, the green, the, so that means uh, it's refl reflecting three times as much light it receives, it's reflecting back out of its surface uh, when, it's, when it's in a, a hammer level. Um, this would be green light it's reflecting 300% of, and then, um, you know, 20% of the light receives would be red, 20% will be, uh, well, it will reflect 20% back as blue, and 300% back as green. No, they don't add up, uh, it's all separate values. Uh, okay, so that's the uh, green one, now if we go, oh, yeah, I do want to save this, don't I? No, I don't. Or do I? No, I don't. Okay, <laughs> red tutorial. Uh, I already had saved it. So red toot, you can see here. Um, I've just before uh, you saw this, I added uh, one, 0 0.1, 0 0.1. This means that it will reflect 100% red, 10% uh, reflect back as blue, and what 10% back as green. Yeah, I didn't have to tell you that second time, but you know what? Uh, okay, remember reflectivity. That's our parameter to use. All right, let's save this, go back out, and uh, let's get back into the map and let's compile again. Okay, by the way, this is the Valve Batch Compile Tool. I recommend it. Um, very good. I use it to compile Plaza and everything ever since. It means if you're using Windows 7 like me, you can actually see what the hell is going on in your compile log without it crashing. Uh, it's also just very nice on the memory. Uh, if your computer is starting to suffer and starting to hate you for um, compiling stuff in Hammer, use this. And in my experience, it's actually it's actually faster than using Hammer Compile. Uh, don't ask me why. It uses the same programs, but it is. Okay, um, I'm just going to edit out this long, uh, boring space ahead. Alright, after copious amounts of editing, I'm back. And uh, I've been dropped into the map again by the hand of the mighty info player start and ready to show you. Now, look at that. That's just much better, isn't it? I mean, it's it's colourful, looks, like, um, looks like an actual environment, and it's really... it's, it's quite nice looking. Alright, so I cheated you guys, I actually did add the reflectivity value of 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1 to make it look blander than it actually was in the first video. But, if you, I mean, the first uh, time I showed you, damn it. And, and uh, yeah, this, um, if you can see, only a portion of the surface is lit, and there's, it's giving off that much green at the top. Okay, it's kind of a bit bluey green because of the ambient light, but you know what I mean. Um, Imagine if this entire surface was covered in in just uh, sunlight. This would look quite nice. So um, 
yeah, I think that's pretty much the tutorial. No, just look how pink that is when I go close up. That is, if you can, ugh, what am I saying? So this is the first time I've done a tutorial. I'm quite bad at this. <laughs> I was gonna say something right now. I've forgotten what it is. Oh yeah, these are just plain colors I'm using. But if you're using actual Half-Life 2 texture, like um, maybe even dev textures, if you're going that way for that kind of art style, these can be a pretty good uh, parameter to use in your VMTs. Um, for instance, uh, there's a good example on Robert Briscoe's blog where he actually has this little hut in the middle of um, a big field and of course there's no lighting inside an old farm shack. Uh, it's all lit by sunlight coming in through the windows. Uh, how doesn't look very good until he actually mucks around with the reflectivity values and makes it look quite nice. Yeah, it's a bit dark, you know what I mean? So, just a simple parameter for reflectivity, you can really enhance the lighting in your level and perhaps use less lights and decrease compile times by just bouncing stuff around. Okay, uh, before I go, I'm just going to give you one last tip. If your, uh, your source SDK ever starts not working, if it just compiles nothing and says Steam Startup failed or something about hooks, don't ask me, um, that means that you're going to restart Steam because since the update, Valve has completely screwed up the source SDK in terms of um, bugs and they've added this weird bug which means you have to restart Steam. So if you've ever, ever got a big problem with your compile log not even showing anything, uh, do that. Okay. Cheerio!